But then, you know, you go to Penn State. I, I, I remember Bill O'Brien. I got to Penn State, one of my first meetings with him. He just said, he's like, dude, no one cares that you were a five-star anymore. Like, no, like you think Sarah, we, we, our first game of the year was against Syracuse. He said, you think Syracuse cares? Like, if, like how many offers you had? No, they, they, they're going to, they're going to kick your ass no matter, you know, no matter what, what you do. Was that, I guess, honesty and directness that Bill O'Brien obviously showed in that moment. Was that what really separated Penn State was kind of the reality of like, you're coming here to work and you're coming here to like, be part of something yeah. greater than yourself. Like what, what, or was it something else that separated Penn state from the pack? I mean, you mentioned Ohio state and all these other schools, like that's gotta be crazy. Cause if I'm, if I'm a recruit, I'm like, Oh, I want to go to Ohio state or some big name yeah. program. Right. But like what separated Penn state in your mind? There were a lot of things that made Penn state the place I wanted to be, to be, to be honest, the whole time that I was getting recruited, I didn't think I was going to go, I was going to go to Penn state. I actually said to everyone, like, cause you know, I grew up an hour from state college, hour and a half from state college, grew up a Penn state fan. Everyone from where I was from went to Penn state. So I, I was telling everyone, I'm not going to Penn state. Like I'm going to be different. I'm going to go somewhere else. I had all these other offers, sec, PAC 12, you know, ACC. I was going to go to one of those other schools. And, um, and that was kind of my plan the whole time. I was visiting Notre Dame, Ohio State, Maryland, you know, North Carolina, UCLA, a bunch of schools that I that I really liked, Michigan, Michigan State, and was thought I was gonna, gonna go to one of those places. And then it wasn't it wasn't until Bill O'Brien got hired at Penn State that that completely shifted. Um, Bill O'Brien, you know, the, everything happened at Penn State. Joe Paterno was fired at Penn State. And a whole new coaching staff came in and Bill O'Brien was named the head coach who would, who just came from being the offensive coordinator with the New England Patriots. Um, and if you guys are, if you remember who he had on that team, it was Brady, Rob Gronkowski, Aaron Hernandez, a really great offense of a lot of, and they were using the tight ends like crazy. Like that was the year that tight end play like kind of took off. I, I mean, you know, in the last decade of, of the NFL and college football, being a tight end's like become cool. We're like, it used to not be a cool to be a tight end. And a lot of that was because of that offense that the Patriots had with, with Gronkowski and Hernandez that caught like a hundred some passes and just balled out all year. Well, O'Brien had just done that with them. So he, he called me and was like, yo, come play my offense. And you saw what I just did with those tight ends. So that was really what got me to Penn state was Bill O'Brien getting hired and, uh, and, you know, knowing how I would be utilized and feeling like that was truly the best fit for me as a football player.